make it twice the square meterage going up from 22,000 square meters to 45,000 square meters. This is not the leading edge of the roof. You'll see some drawings upstairs where the new sports lights lean forward with another cantilever in front of them that will cover all of the seating in the new lower tier when it's pushed forward into football. The roof's going to be fully over the, over the seats. And, I mean, it's going to be some roof by the looks of things. And um, as you say, the, the atmosphere will be fantastic. Yeah, and talks about the, it's going to be the biggest in the world of the kind. And uh, obviously that's something something special to have it in our place, you know. And, um, to be a part of a, a ground like this and a club that's moving on and moving forward to uh, a great, great film. You can see these new rear roof rafters, they're approximately 30 metres long. That forms a solid part of the roof. All the roof forward from that will be polycarbonate for another 45 metres. What we will get, I believe, from this design, uh, over and above what we had in for games, is much more attenuation of the crowd noise into the bowl. So what makes this one distinctive over and above other roofs that we used in Brazil or in Europe um, is the way we've tried to re-articulate the feeling and the design of the original Olympic Stadium roof. To come in, uh, it looks even bigger than what I remember. Um, to see like the roof sort of at uh, uh, the size of what the roof's going to be. To have a look across the other side, it's, it's massive. And, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, can imagine when it's fully done with the roof's on and the seat is fully out and all the pitch is there, it's going to be some stadium. It's changed a lot, you know, uh, there's a lot of work going on and uh, it's been going on since since the last time I've been here and it's uh, starting to take shape and look good.